biggest contemporary art fair in the world, is back for its lucky 13th year on Miami Beach. Of course, we're talking about Art Basel. Yes, the fair officially opens to the public tomorrow, but today, a special preview for the VIPs, also known as the big buyers. <laughs> as always, CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo is in the thick of the art and the action. Joining us live now, and Lisa, how is it looking out there? Wow, I tell you what, guys, this is pretty impressive. I have been covering it. This is my 13th year here at Art Basel, and it is bigger and better. Take a look at the crowds here. This is the VIP pr preview, which means the big buyers, the big collectors, and of course, the big sellers. We saw stars, we saw people, we saw buying lots of action on this preview first day. It's not Black Friday or a doorbuster sale. In fact, there are no steals or deals here. This is Art Basel and the first choice VIP preview of the world's most important contemporary art fair. With 267 galleries from 31 countries around the world, this 2014 edition of Art Basel is bigger than ever. The world's best galleries know exactly where they'll be the first week in December. This is the most important fair in the United States. So we have clients here that come from all over the United States to see us, but also from Europe, from Central America, from Latin America, and even from Asia today, actually. We've seen a lot of clients. Janice is showing us the gallery's coveted James Rosenquist original painting, stretching more than 20 feet long. Rosenquist's works are mainly shown in art museums. And the price tag is? Is $1,800,000. A million six would have been mine. <laughs> but art comes in all shapes, sizes, and price ranges. Diane Tuft is a New York Pace photographer whose beautiful landscape photographs from Antarctica have starting prices of just over 6000 It is so fantastic. It's, um, I really love my work, and I really think it's worthy of coming to the convention center. I'm really excited about that. So what's great about contemporary art is that anything can be art. Here at the Pace Gallery from Hong Kong, it's several slinkies all put together on a wall. It sold the minute the show opened today for $85,000. Celebrities were on hand as well. Award-winning director Baz Lerman with such films as The Great Gatsby and Romeo and Juliet is actually the face to draw in crowds to this gallery from Switzerland. Basel, and people can rail against it, is fun. And Basel is all those things people say, good, bad, da 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 da, da you know. But it's fun. We spotted Gatsby himself. That's Leo DiCaprio. You see him in a blurred flash with a beret and beard until our photographer was immediately reprimanded to shut off. Diddy did Basel again this year, avec his rather large entourage, while designer Tommy Hilfiger, a new South Florida resident who recently bought the Raleigh Hotel, was happy to shop and socialize. Well, I'm an art collector, so I look forward to it every year. It gets better every year. It's so international. I mean, people from all over the world and really the best of the best uh, contemporary art in the world. Much of the art crowd dresses for comfort, flats and designer bags by the dozens, all enjoying South Florida's warm temps. And it's South Florida's pocketbook, especially here on Miami Beach, where Art Basel paints the brightest picture. We love Basel. We can't wait for Basel every year, and it's become a real cornerstone of who Miami Beach is. Yes, it is, and I guess it's money makes the world go round, because right behind me, Ralph, let's show that Picasso over here, and then over here to the right from Hammer Galleries in New York. We have Chagall's, all in all, more than $25 million worth of art just in this little gallery from New York, and they are all over this space. We have people walking around, kind of partying. The big party that is normally tonight is actually not happening. It is all about the VIP preview till 7, then tomorrow in the morning from 10 until, till 3. It's called the Vernissage. Again, invitation only, where people can mingle and party and walk around. Open to the public at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Art Basel is officially on through Sunday. Parties all over. A little birdie told me they're getting as much as $50,000 for the tables at some of these parties, like at Live Nightclub at the Fountain Blue. Yes, money makes the world go round, and it's here on Miami Beach. Live from the Convention Center, I'm Lisa Pacholo, CBS 4 News. All right, Lisa, thank you. And now